Hey guys, Jesse here. I want to share with you an awesome activity that you can use as a class opener or a warmer to an activity or some way to gather the attention. If you need a transition activity or just something with a little bit more energy, I'm going to share with you a PowerPoint that I have that I'm sharing with you the template for you to adjust to your classes, whatever you need. But let me show you how the game works. And the only thing you need is a ball, which I didn't come prepared with a ball. So you'll want to do that in your classes. Come prepared with a ball that the students can throw back and forth. This game is just called, I call it pass the ball. And essentially you're going to do it where while this music that's on the template, while the music is playing, the students throw a ball back and forth. Then when the music stops, pops up a photo. If you want the students to describe a photo, that's the one I have that you're going to see. If you want them to practice uh, for an exam, you can put some exam questions, fill in the blank or homework questions or something for a homework review. This template is so versatile and easy to use and it can be used for, for anything and your students love it because it gets them moving, it gets them acting. But let's take a look at the template now. Let's take a look at the PowerPoint and the activity. So you see here the game is Pass the ball, creative, I know. And your pass, here goes the rules that I already explained to you. And also I always suggest, and this is kind of a pro tip, always pre-teach or introduce the language that you wanna focus on for the activity. In this case, it's describing language, right? Some useful expressions that you want your students to do during the activity. So here, in this case, it's expressions and describing. So he or she is pretty, tall, short, handsome, whatever they are. And then he has, she has, plus adjective noun. Uh, she is, what is he doing? What are they doing? These are, are the language parts that I wanna focus in my lesson. But again, like I said, you can do it for exam review, homework review, uh, just general speaking, arguing, anything like that, right? Sharing your opinion, storytelling, anything, absolutely anything. So here's the next slide, ready, let's start. And while this music is playing, they are passing the ball back and forth. Then the next one is the slide for what you want them to do in this case. It would show this, whoever has the ball has to describe this. And for example, he has a big nose. It looks like it's a painting. He has an, what's another word for big? Elicit more language. What's another word for big? Just a big nose, that's a normal big. What's another word? Gigantic, enormous, huge, right? So, use other language, elicit other language, pull other language out of them, right? And then continue passing. And describe him, he's handsome, he's a footballer or he's an actor, whatever, right? So it just goes on like this and then pass the ball. And again, like I said, you can, Put any kind of language focus you want on these. You can have homework review, put homework questions on here, and then have them pass the ball to check the homework and review the homework. Or to preview the homework, put the homework questions, and then uh, for tonight's homework, and then say, okay, tonight's homework is page 36. And they'll be like, oh, no problem. You already did it. This homework was, or this game was from your homework. So all you have to do is uh, repeat the same questions, right? So something like that, something to stimulate your students and, and like trick them, keep them on the toes, right? Uh, so that's always a good tip actually also is to always keep your students on your toes, keep them guessing, uh, use the point system for your advantage and but make it fun, a way to make it fun and interactive. Uh, on the PowerPoint that you'll get on Sweet Academy, I'll put the link below, uh, it has this with the music on it and with the slides. So all you have to do is change 
the picture slides. And by the way, if you do that, if you download it and change the slides, make sure you save it, save as and save as another name. And that way you don't lose the photo one if you if you want to keep that for your files. So that's another tip that you know you can learn from my mistakes. I've lost material because I've saved them, I've changed them and then saved them as the same name. I forgot to change the name. So but you know I'm sure you've done the same kind of thing in your life. But do this activity in class and let me know how you've adapted it below. Let me know different ways that you've used it in class, how you've maybe added point systems, how you've added an actual game, how you've split them into teams, any kind of creativity, any kind of creative touch you add is fantastic. And I wanna know, share that below or on the Facebook group or anything like that. That'll be great. If you like this idea and you like this activity, hit that subscribe button in the bell so you can get more activities and more teaching help. Keep teaching and keep learning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.